I guess you are watching this video because your computer is running with an issue here as you are trying to open a program that recently installed this server arrived. The program can start because xinput1 underscore 4.dll is missing from your computer. It's a somewhat critical error and all you need to do is watch this video patiently and follow that method on your computer. Hello everyone, welcome to Tech Evolution. In this very short video, I'll be fixing this error within 3 minutes, so let's get started. At first, open your favorite browser and search for xinput1 underscore4.dll. You can choose any result, I'm choosing the first one. This is not sponsored, but I'll put the link in the description. Here you can see few download options based on the architecture and version. To know your computer architecture and version, first click on Start and search for system information. Here you can see mine is a 64-bit PC. So in this case, I will be downloading the second one. I strongly recommend you to read this page. It has other fixing method also. You can use that as a backup process. As the download complete, hit open. Inside the zip file, you can see the DLL file. To move the DLL, first open this PC, then new volume C, Windows, and find a folder named System32. This is the home of 32-bit DLL files. Here it is. Then click on the downloaded zip, drag the DLL, and drop. I have already done this, so it is asking me to replace and click on continue to give administrator access. Before we go ahead, let's check by typing the file name. You can see the file is placed in the 32-bit folder. So job is done for 32-bit users. You can go and restart your computer. For 64-bit users, open this PC one more time, then new volume C, Windows, and this time find a folder named syswall 64 This is the home of 64-bit DLL files, here it is, and similarly drag and drop. Check this one more time. By typing the file name, you can see the file is placed in the 64-bit folder as well. So job is done. And finally, restart your computer. In extremely rare cases, if the error deal occurs, you need to download and install Microsoft DirectX from Microsoft Official website and install your program again, and that will surely fix it. And that's all. If you follow me step by steps, you will no longer have that problems left. Please let me know how you feel about this video. And do not forget to like and subscribe.